Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're back in Newcrest and I'm going to be showing the speed build of a starter house that I made. So in this build I wanted to do some things. I was trying to make it a starter house at first and even though it's like 23,000 I think I will still consider it a starter house even though usually the budget for a starter house is 20,000, I think. I wanted to use the new stair function where you can twist and turn the stairs and it was a lot of fun to make it and to use it and experiment with it. And also I tried to make the outside not much of a that boxy uh, structure that I usually am always like annoyed with that my builds ended up having and when I was building it I think maybe it's because in build mode things are the perspective is a lot different but when I was building it seemed at least for me that things were a lot more dynamic on the outside but when it came to the screenshots I think it ended up a lot boxier than I, well, at least that in the vision that I had while I was building, it seemed a lot less boxy than it actually is in the screenshot. So I improved a little bit, but not a lot. Also, I want to do more videos other than things in The Sims, the builds and I'm still thinking if I want to do a let's play or not because I'm not very good at it so we'll see if a let's play is going to be an option in the future but I want to continue making videos with plants and, and my snails and my invertebrates but right now I'm still trying to think about the things I want to do, so it's gonna take a while before I make some videos about the pets, I think. But also because I found um, a girl on YouTube that it's called Jade's Jungle, and I really like her channel. She has a lot of information about, well, she has giant, giant African land snails, but I think that in for, I think the care for snails, at least the basics, is going to be the same. So I've learned a lot, right? Until I found her her channel, it was mostly things that I sort of presumed or learned some things here or there. But snail content, it's not something that it's very popular and at least before I didn't found a lot of a lot of like things that would make me improve on my care and since I've seen her channel uh, I see a lot of things that I've done wrong with my snails and so what I want to do maybe the video that I will do is um, cage improvements and things like that because I think she is a really great channel and made me improve a lot on my care. So I'm really happy with it. So that's why I also don't want to make videos with my pets because if there's something wrong, I don't want to be showing it wrong, if, if it makes sense. But moving on to the builds, I had a lot of troubles with the floor planning as you can see <laughs> the screen is growing crazy and i had no idea things would get so expensive so quickly because i was really trying to make it under twenty thousand, and in the end i'm going to i really like this table but i ended up changing it for a for a table that's a lot cheaper i think and also uh, I ended up making the kitchen a lot smaller and moving the stairs. Yeah, that's the last place the stairs is going to be. But 
I really enjoyed this build because it was really fun to make things work with the new stairs and making a smaller house. I really like to make smaller houses because I don't think I'm very good at making big spaces. And for example, the museum, even though I really liked it, it showed that not everything that I can, that I do with the big spaces is that great. <laughs> but I also had to test a lot of things because in the beginning I was trying to make the the kitchen under the stairs, even though I think that's Imagine having your counters under the stairs where you cook. I think it's kind of gross, but in the Sims, why do we even fucking care? Because nobody will, because they're the Sims. But I also want to talk about a little bit of Realm of Magic. The game pack has already, is already out. So since I made my prediction video, I want to talk a little bit about it as well. I'm not going to make a review or something like that because I didn't buy the pack because I don't have the money for it, but I still want to give a little bit of my opinion from the things I saw other people playing it. And I think people are saying the gameplay is pretty shallow and I can't talk about that because I haven't played the game, so... But there's one thing that I'm very disappointed with is the boomsticks and like they they obviously I don't know what I was thinking what would be their use because they didn't talk um, a lot about it in the when they were, they were promoting the pack so they knew that it was weak and what really what really makes me sad is I was kind of right about the open worldish thing of the realm of magic, but the rooms serve no purpose because it's exactly the same thing as if you use the portal. They just fly up, they disappear and fly and appear on top of the other island and fly down. And I think that's such a cop out and it's so silly because I, it's probably complicated to make the the pathing of a sim flying on a room from island to island, yes. But they could like, for example, maybe you, the when you ask your sim to go to the other island with the room, they could go next to the portal and just do a linear like path with the room that was always the same. They didn't have to make different paths, just one path to each island and between each island and and probably that would work because they're like one, two, three, four islands and they have to make paths between all of them but it would give the brooms a lot more usefulness if that makes sense and I think I was kind of sad about that because in my mind it was so... I was so sure that the sims would fly between islands, not just go and go up and disappear. And it was really, really triggering, like the tea. <laughs> Sorry. But it was kind of sad to see the, that the brooms had no purpose. Other than that, I can't comment on anything because it's a lot of more gameplay. And honestly, people were saying that it's shallow. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I don't think it's just a problem in The Sims 4. I think gameplay in The Sims has always been a little bit shallow. Maybe... I don't, it's because I don't want to be nostalgic at the same time of the other games. Maybe I'm wrong. And in other games, at least some expansions are like a lot better. For example, uh, World Adventures, The Sims 3 expansion was like amazing, but 
not all expansions are going to be like that, of course. And I think people forget that Sims is like for you to make your own stories and they are trying to spin that a lot in the publicity for The Sims. But actually I'm ranting a lot <laughs> and the video is almost over and didn't talk a lot about the build but overall I think Sims has always been at a little bit of a shallow gameplay even though because they're you're supposed to make your own stories but at the same time Sims 4 overall it's been a problematic experience but so we're about to jump into the screenshots and I was ranting a lot but as you can see the house in the screenshots looks, looks a lot boxier and a little bit empty because I want people to bring their things not to bring but put the life in the house with their scenes so since it was a starter I wanted to be like a blank canvas so people can decorate or add those smaller details themselves and I really enjoyed making this house and ended up ranting a little bit about The Sims 4 that's always good but hope you enjoy thanks for watching see you next time bye